Good afternoon, Dave Parker with Compton EdTech. And today we're going to do a brief primer on how to view and grade responses in the GoFormative platform. So as you see, I'm on my regular GoFormative landing page. And there was an assignment given, a few students have made responses to it. And so I just want to check their progress. So what I'll do is I'll go to that formative item, which is right here, Go Math 9.7. I'll click on it, and as you'll see, it'll show me here. It will show me. It'll show me edit, which is to make changes, assign view responses. Right now, I want to look at and focus on viewing responses. So, as you'll see here, the students have made responses or have made um, answers. And you'll see some of them are green, some of them indicate no response, and some of them may actually come up wrong. Um, I can view all of the responses and I can sort them, export them to spreadsheets in a various, in a variety of ways. So for right now, I want to just look at the whole worksheet. So I'm going to look at totals. And this will give me the status of everything that every student has been doing so far. And as you can see in this class, students are working. They're working at, for question number one at about 100%, and I can track the uh, progress of each student, which is really cool as well. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I can click by individual items to see how the students are doing. Now, if I wanted to see what the guest students are doing, I can see their performance versus the uh, other students in the class or I can open them all up and see all of the students simultaneously. Um, but what I'm noticing right now, there are a lot of items that have not been answered. So what I'll do is I'm going to exit out of this view. I'm going to go back to regular view. I'm just going to look at the assignment itself. And as I look at it, I can see that there are some items that have not been graded and that do not have a correct or incorrect response to them. Remember, formative will only grade when you select or use a correct answer key. And sometimes, especially with those short answer or longer answer responses, you will have to go back and um, check those and grade those yourselves. It's not a difficult prospect. Uh, so, for example, if I do this sheet right here, I see number five has no correct answer. As you can see. So I'm going to look at number five, and I know that 0.3 is less than 0.32. So I'm going to click the less than. And by simply filling those in, I can get more responses to come up and grade automatically. There may, on a worksheet like this, it's not that difficult. And again, the objective is not just to save you money or save you time, but it's also set up to give the students immediate feedback after they've done their work. So once again, this is Dave Parker with Compton Ed Tech. Hope that helps. Um, stay tuned. I will come up with another video for another portion of this. Thanks so much.